non-standard units to measure length, lesson 9.3. We're going to start with a note to the parents or instructors. Standard units are inches, feet, yards, centimeters, meters, etc. Non-standard units of measure are objects that are not typically used as measuring tools, such as paper clips, pencils, or even smoots. I'll explain that at the end of the video. We can measure an object with another object. My dog Lola is about three floor tiles long. You can see there's three tiles and she's laying on the floor. We have one, two, three. And it's not exact, so it's about three floor tiles long. We can use markers as a non-standard unit. This black line is about two markers long. We use the markers as the measuring tool. We can use squares as a non-standard unit. This fish is about seven squares long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. From the tip of its face to its tail, it's about seven squares long. And it's not exact, so we say about. This toy truck is about six squares long. One, two, three, four, five, six. From the front to the back, it's about six squares long. This clothespin is about one crayon long. They're about the same length, aren't they? So we can use cubes to measure indirectly. The cube would be our non-standard unit of measure. The bow is about four cubes long. One, two, three, four. The scissors is about seven cubes long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The turtle is about six cubes long. From the back to the front, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can circle the bar that is about five cubes long. If this is the size of a cube, which one of these do you think is about five cubes long? Do you think this red bar is about five cubes long? Could we fit five of them in here? Is that enough? How about the blue one? Can we fit five of these cubes long here? How about the green one? We could actually take the cubes and line them up with the bars and see which one is about five cubes long. Now we can see that the green one the green bar is about five cubes long. It's a little longer, so it's about five cubes long. That's the one we're going to circle. The blue one is too small and the red one is too long, isn't it? This ladybug is about two cubes long. Draw the cubes to show its length. So its length from the back to the front is two cubes. We can draw the two cubes. One, two, two cubes long. This snake is about six cubes long. Draw the cubes to show its length. So we need to draw six cubes that are all the same size. That could be tricky. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, six, six cubes. Use cubes to measure the length of the red bar. So we need to see how long this red bar is and we're going to use cubes. We start with the first cube and put it right here and we put it right where it started in the same spot like that so it's even there. That's two, three, four, 
five, six, let's get some more, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so it's about 12 cubes, isn't it? It's not exact, it's a little bit off, but it's about 12 cubes. The bar is about 12 cubes long. Our next lesson is make a non-standard measuring tool. That's lesson 9.4. And if you click on the description of this video, you'll see a link to a video about measuring height and length from grade 2 lesson 8.1 and I talk about smoots as a length for measuring and there'll be a link to a Wikipedia article about smoots. Oliver Smoot was a man who was in college and his friends made him lay down on a bridge and they measured the bridge by how many Oliver Smoots it took. That's his last name. Isn't that silly? You could lay down in your hallway and see how many of you can fit for the length of your hallway. You can measure your hallway or, or your living room or something by how many of your lengths of your body it would take. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.